Hi, welcome to Marker Board Videos. Today's video is about elements, compounds, and mixtures, and the difference between them and what identifies one versus another. So we're gonna start with elements. There's several characteristics of elements. The first thing is it's a pure substance. You know what pure is? It's a pure substance, so it's, it's, it's just what it says it is. There's only one kind of atom. Now I know we haven't gone into atoms a lot lately, or yet we will, but I want you to know it's only one kind of atom and that it's uniform. Now here's a word that maybe you know and maybe you don't know, homogeneous. Let's take that apart. The prefix homo means the same. So we're talking about something that is the same throughout. If I take a sample of carbon dioxide from here, and a sample of carbon dioxide from here, they're identical. It doesn't change based on where I take the sample from. If I take a sample from New York City and a sample from Los Angeles, it's gonna be the same. So homogeneous means it's the same throughout. Um, an element cannot be made into a simple, simpler substance. You can't break it down into something simpler except with a nuclear reaction. And so we're not going to address this in, this in this video or actually in this course. But just know that basically it's the simplest thing that, that we break things down into. So if we had a chunk and we started chopping, 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 chopping and kept going until we couldn't chop it anymore, the simplest thing that was left would be one element, would be an element, okay? Uh, they're classified on the periodic table. So um, if you're not sure, take a look at the periodic table and see if it's on there. Now don't just assume that it's on there like brass. A lot of people assume brass is an element. It's not, it's, it's a mixture, but, but um, take a look at the periodic table. If it's on the periodic table, it's gonna be an element. So once we have our elements down, we combine our elements to form compounds. Now compounds also are a pure substance but they're made of two or more different kinds of atoms, or two or more kinds of atoms. So um, you have to have two, two things, uh, hydrogen and oxygen form water. Um, the atoms always combine in some way. So it's not just that they're sitting next to each other, they have to have a, a combination with one another. Sometimes they combine into molecules, not always, and I don't want to lead you down the path where you think every compound is a molecule. Um, it's, it's common, it's very common, but there are other ways for them to combine as well. But I just want you to know that molecules is one of the ways that they may combine. They are homogeneous also, which means they're the same. So um, just like an Oreo cookie, we're just talking about regular Oreos right now. Just like an Oreo cookie is two cookies and one cream, and every time you get an Oreo, it's two cookies and one cream, it's exactly the same. That's what this means, homogeneous. So it's exactly the same. They can't physically be separated. So, so um, if I have a compound, we talked about sodium chloride on another video. If I have a compound, table salt, I can't find a way to somehow separate that out so that I get that metal and that gas again. Um, and finally, the properties are usually totally different from its components. So in the previous video, I talked about salt, table salt. And I told you about the characteristics of sodium and the characteristics of chlorine and how when you put them together it forms sodium chloride, which is table salt, and how the characteristics of table salt are totally different than the characteristics of either sodium or chlorine. And that's usually a good indication that you have a compound. So we have elements, compounds, and now we're going to talk about mixtures. A mixture is when you get when you have two or more elements or compounds that are not chemically combined. So if you think, for instance, of Lucky Charms cereal, you have the charms and you have the cereal. They're not chemically combined, they're just kind of stuck together. I could actually take and pull the Lucky Charms, the, the marshmallow pieces, out and eat them, which I do. But you could pull those out pretty easily. They're not chemically combined. There's no reaction between the components. Unlike with a compound where you have the sodium and the chlorine and they react with one another. In a mixture, they're just near each other, but they don't have a chemical interaction with one another. It can either be homogeneous or heterogeneous. Now we didn't talk about heterogeneous yet. Heterogeneous means different. Homogeneous means the same. So let me give you an example. You're baking a cake, you put the cake mix in, the water, the oil, the eggs, mix it up, totally mixed up. You're ready to make um, uh, cupcakes. So you scoop the, the batter out and you put it in the cupcakes. And whether you take the first scoop or the last scoop, that cupcake mix is the same. It's homogeneous. But now let's say instead you're making blueberry muffins. So you take your batter and you make it and you put the blueberries in. When you dip it out into the blueberry muffin containers, there's a difference, isn't there? One might have more blueberries, one might have less blueberries, bigger blueberries, smaller blueberries, whatever. 
It is heterogeneous because each sample that you get is not going to be identical. That's what heterogeneous means. A mixture, pretty easy to separate, like the Lucky Charms. I can take the marshmallows out, I can take the cereal out, I can separate those pretty easily. And finally, the properties of the mixture are similar to the properties of the components. So unlike a, a, a compound that sodium and chlorine makes sodium chloride, which is nothing like either, when you have a mixture like um, Chex Mix, you can pull out the cereal, you can pull out the peanuts, you can pull out the pretzels. If you eat a handful, you can probably taste the, the pretzels versus the peanuts. You know that they each maintain the characteristics of the components which is um, interesting about mixtures. That's one of the things with mixtures is it's just kind of mixed together.